Hey guys, we've released a couple new versions of the mouse sensitivity matcher script and I wanted to go over the new features. So from 1.1, we added a measure any game feature. You can use this feature in literally any game, past, present, or future to determine the yaw value, which you can then use to convert your sensitivity to or from any other game. Or you can use it straight up to capture whatever increment you have and convert and transfer it to another game, and you don't have to think about what yaw means. I'll go over how to use that in particular shortly, but I do want to talk about the other features too. So we added a uh, custom key binds. So now you can change your hotkeys. If you're uh, not on a US standard keyboard, you can change this to whatever you want. And nomenclature is kind of explained here roughly, and you can make it, you know, any keys basically. And you can also change the startup values here. On top of that, we have a custom yaw list. So whenever you measure any game, you can save the current value that you figured out, and then you can keep it in this list. And that's saved in this any file. So as you add to it, it'll show up in this list. And you know, if somebody wants to keep a, a master list of a whole bunch of useful games, they can just store it and then share it, and it'll be easy to use. Uh, also, we added a physical stats calculator. So there's the virtual factor, which is the increment. And then there's the physical factor, which is your counts per inch or dots per inch of your mouse. Whenever you use these two, then it can calculate the common number people are familiar with of your centimeters per revolution or inches per revolution. And just for my own example, I use 1.15 cents and my Excel curve results in a slow speed sensitivity of this. So I've got 47 centimeters to 360 or 18.5 inches to 364 revolution. And that in turn also means uh, these curvature numbers. These are a more linear calculation of uh, mouse sensitivity. And it's basically the inverse of centimeters per revolution. So it is distance uh, or degrees per distance or minutes of arc per inch. Now, these numbers are going to be used a little bit more. Uh, they are used in FPS OSU, and they're also on Liquidpedia now. So you might see this a little bit more uh, coming up. But you can also, within this calculator, lock the physical sensitivity. And then if you change the CPI, so if I wanted to see what my uh, in-game sensitivity should be, if I wanted to maintain the below effective sensitivity stuff, I do this, and it would tell me that's my new sense that I should use. So. That is the physical stats. And to jump into the measure any game feature. So if I go here, I'm going to measure paladins. And quick note about paladins is that paladins yaw value determ is uh, dependent on your field of view. So my field of view in paladins is 110. The number I'm going to come up with for yaw is not going to be correct for everybody. It's just for whoever is also using 110 field of view. But that said, to get started, I'm going to line up my crosshair somewhere here, then I hold Alt and do my 360, and that was an overshoot. So the key bind that I have to tell the script that was an overshoot is Alt minus. So I line it up again, press it, that was an undershoot, so Alt plus or Alt equals. Then I line it up again, a little bit of an overshoot. So I'm going to keep doing this, or I do Alt plus whenever it's an undershoot, Alt minus when it's an overshoot. Pretty close. Slightly overshooting. So I tell it minus. That's definitely an undershoot. Definitely an undershoot. We're getting there. It's very, very close. So at this point, I could keep tweaking it and use the, you know, hit it 20 times, but I don't want to make people dizzy at this point. I just want to get a rough idea of what it is. So I can go back to Windows and Sensitivity Matcher. And since I'm using one point, uh, I'm sorry, 2.5 sensitivity in game, I type 2.5 here, and then I swap the yaw in the sense. So it gives me this and this, and I can save the current yaw, and I can call it Paladins110FOV. So now I can use this. 
If I'm playing Quake and I want to get my exact sense sensitivity I had in Valadins, then this is the sense I use. Or if I want to see what it is in Overwatch, this is the exact sensitivity I use. Or if I want to take my Quake sensitivity, which is 1.15, then I can take it to Paladins and 2.5, 2, 4, blah, blah, blah. So there it is. Now it's very easy to convert between any game just by using that sort of thing. Uh, you can also use this and do the exact same process to figure out a game's effective zoom multiplier. So the way I do this is I'm going to once again measure any game and I'm going to zoom in. So I line up, press it. This is definitely an undershoot, so do that. Still an undershoot. And pretty close, but overshoot. Huge overshoot. Still an overshoot. Still an overshoot. So again, Alt minus. Alt minus. We're getting closer though. We're getting pretty close. And now, so that's pretty close. Again, it's slightly undershooting, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to leave it as is. So then I can Alt Tab out. I can go back to the matcher script, and I can say, well, my sensitivity is 2.5. And then I swap it, and then I save it. Say Paladin's Zoom. And I'm not sure if 110 FOV matters here or not, but I'm just going to call it Paladin Zoom. And so now that I know this number and the other number, what I can do is I can say that's the zoomed yaw, and this is the not zoomed yaw. And then I can open my calculator, and I can take this number divided by this number. That tells me 0 0.249, so it's pretty much a quarter. So whenever I'm zoomed in, effectively what Paladins is doing, it is, it's taking one quarter of my mouse sensitivity, and that's what the effective sensitivity is. So if you wanted to figure out what your zoom uh, multiplier should be in other games, you can use this to tweak it as well. So uh, this script has certainly come in handy for me and over the last, I don't know, year and a half, and I'm happy to turn it into something that's a lot more useful to more people as well. Uh, if you guys have any problems with this script, find any bugs or anything, feel free to let me know either in the comments or direct message on Discord, however is best, and just uh, let me know. Anyway, have a good one. Take care.